peaceful greetings in the mighty name of Jesus and once again a very warm welcome to the Divine Roses channel. In this video, I would like to throw light on the importance of a donkey in the fulfillment of the messianic prophecy. Kindly stay tuned with me till the end. Well, here are a few interesting things to note about donkeys and Jesus riding into Jerusalem on one. God is punctilious, meaning to say, is very much particular in fulfilling the smallest details. Matthew chapter 21 verses 1 to 11 tells us about Jesus' instructions regarding the donkey he rode to enter Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Jesus was fulfilling what had been prophesied in Zechariah 9, 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion! Shout, daughter of Jerusalem! See, your king comes to you! Righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey, on the colt, the foal of a donkey. Every Jew would know Zechariah's messianic prophecy. That's why the crowds hailed Jesus as their king shouting, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. In the ancient biblical world, a leader rode on a horse if he was going to war and a donkey to signify peace. People seeing Jesus riding into the city on a donkey understood what that meant. It was a sign of kingship and royalty. That Jesus rode a donkey that had never been ridden was yet another miraculous part of this prophecy. Donkeys have a reputation of not working or cooperating until they trust the one they work for. When the disciples brought the colt to Jesus, the colt immediately trusted Jesus and carried him down the path into the city. A donkey's colt was neither tame or conceded able to be ridden. For Jesus to come into Jerusalem in this manner was conceded miraculous by those who witnessed it. Almost all donkeys have a naturally occurring dark cross on their backs. It runs down their spines and across their shoulders. According to the Australian Donkey Society, if you shaved their fur, you would find the cross on their skin. Jesus entered his first week of life riding in his mother's womb on a donkey and then again the last week of his life fulfilling prophecy by riding a donkey. How amazing it is to consider that the donkey is the only animal to have a cross on its back. Jesus entered this world humbly and left this earth the same way, but when he returns, he will not be riding a donkey. He will be coming in all of his glory and splendor. Hope you have been spiritually enlightened to know so as to why Jesus rode on a donkey on a Palm Sunday.